Hey, what's up? Welcome to LS Garage. So today I wanted to update on the status of the Ford 88 weirdo 10 bolt rear end thing I'm gonna put in the Firebird. So this process has been a bigger pain in the butt than I thought it would be. And that really always happens with any kind of project. So I got the Ford 88 10 bolt, whatever you wanna call it, rear end, to the guy that's gonna do the gear swap for me. And he called me pretty soon after I dropped it off saying that he had trouble getting one of the axles out. I thought, great. What's that? What's that about? He says, well, it's either a bent axle or it's a bent housing. Like a not a true, not straight housing. So I thought, well, okay, what, do we get, what can I do about that? And he said, well, um, if it were me, I'd leave it alone. I said, okay, I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll leave it alone. And so he went ahead and did the 327 gears in it. And when he put it back together, he had a heck of a time putting it. He said it was worse than pulling it out. So I said, okay, well, what, what can we do to fix this? I don't want to put it together wrong and then have problems. You know, I want to do it right the first time. So he suggested that we strip it down. And he had a friend that worked at a machine shop that has a jig that's basically a bar that you attach things to you put the housing in the thing or put it through the housing I guess you could say and it would measure if it was true or not and he said it came back straight as an arrow so the housing itself was fine and that took a while I mean, it took a few days which was surprising then we started thinking about it and we thought well if it's not the housing it's got to be the axle so I went back to his house, uh, my buddy's place that's doing the install, and I said, hey, look, okay, I'm going to take this, I'm going to send it back to Mosher, because I don't want to mess the measurements up. It's a custom axle. I don't want to foul anything up. I'd rather do it right the first time, so it'd be out potentially like $300. So from there, I take the axle to another guy here, local, and had him cut the bearings off and get it ready to be sent off to Mosher. Uh, he took the backing plate off and the um, shield thing that's got the ABS sensor, I don't know what you call that piece, but uh, he disassembled the axle so it was stripped down just the axle by itself. And he... I get it back from him. I send it out to Mosier the next day. Mosier calls me when they receive it, a day or two later, told me they got it, went over what I wanted done, and he said, this looks pretty true to me. But I'm, you know, I have, to, I have to measure it for you. I get a call the next day, and it's Mosier, and they're telling me that the axle is at four thousandths, and seven thousandths is what they consider good and straight. So it's straighter than it needs to be. It's not bent. So now I'm thinking, well, what the heck? I've spent all this money. I've spent, all, I've wasted all this time, and now there's no. What do I do? I mean, I, you know, I don't know what else it could be besides the housing with an axle in it and bearings. So I took it back to the place that took it apart, had them put a new bearing in it, matched the other side. Hopefully it's the same size. I don't know why that would be inconsistent. It was 10 bolt axle tube, so they should be the same on both sides. So they put it back together and I've got them in the back of the car. I'm taking them back to the guy that's doing the gear swap for me. He's gonna put it all back together again. He's gonna change the carrier bearings for me. So maybe that's a combination of the carrier bearing with this outer bearing was messed up. He said they all look good. So maybe something was just missized. I, I'm not really sure. So I'm hoping that it all goes back together. It may go back together stubborn again, but at least it's together. And yeah, I know I've got good parts in it. Hopefully the bearings won't wear out. That's the whole thing that's confusing about this and making it a head scratcher is the bearings were good to begin with. They looked fine. Uh, one axle just didn't want to go in and go out, which is weird. I mean, they're bolt-in axles, they're not a C-clip, so you may have to persuade them anyway, but he said the other side, you know, you pull on a, give it a tug and it popped right out, so, and popped right in. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. So that's in the works. Hopefully I'll have that back to me middle of next week or so, and I'll do a video of putting the rear end back in the car. I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, if anybody's done a 10 bolt before, a 12, or, 10, 12 volt, 9 inch, anything, this 8.8 is going to be the same. I mean, there's not going to be anything different about it. It's got all stock provisions on where things are going to be installed and all that good stuff. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.